how you doing? I am back to make another video for you guys. It's my off day and I was sitting around and I was like, I haven't made a video in a while. So I'm just going to make a collective video about everything that's on my mind and everything that's going on with me. Sorry, the iPad is shaking because I'm in the bed um, and the mattress is moving. Sorry. Um, first, I'm going to start with my hair. This is my hot hair. I had taken a sewing break. Um... As you guys know, I think I mentioned it in a previous video. So I've been wearing wigs that I've made, you part wigs that I've made, and I have been wearing buns, ponytails, whatever. Just kind of so I could take care of my hair every day, oil it every day. It wasn't up, it wasn't braided, it was just there. Um, but my nieces, excuse me, back from college, one of both of them. And uh, she's gotten very well, very good with her hair skills. She can even do her own hair. So I was like, I'll let her do my hair. Um, I've been wearing a blonde wig, which I think I had in my previous video, which was my Lola's hair. Um, so I was like, um, and then the light auburn, deep auburn red mixture that I had going on with this hair, in the first place, it had kind of faded. So I just decided to lift it. I don't want to lift it all the way blonde like my wig. Um, so this is a great cover color. I love the ombre. I just washed my hair, so my hair is not blended very well. And it's only about 85% dry. So, um... This is what happened with my hot hair. Um, it, I really like this hair. It has retained the length. It's still almost 24 inches. Um, I've colored it twice. It's doing very well. It's not a lot of shedding. So I really like this hair. So enough about my hair. Um, what else is going on with me weight loss wise? Um, it is still a struggle for me. And I want to do so much mentally. But with my schedule and all those type of things. I'm really not doing good. I have been on my smoothies, uh, except this week I've kind of slacked up a little bit. So I, I drink a smoothie every morning. I don't know if I mentioned to you previously, but I think I did. I was on the Plexus Slim, and I did see results with that more inches than just pounds going off. So I am going to get in contact with the lady that um, started me on it, and I'm going to get some more. And this time I'm going to try the accelerator. Um, my niece, like I mentioned before, my nieces are home, and those are my good friends because <laughs> um, they're older now and one of them more in particular and so we saw the app challenge on Facebook um, and Instagram and they were like oh we want to do that so we're going to do that I'll come on cards you can do it too because they call me cards um, you can do it too so we're going to start June 1st and do the app challenge sit ups crunches and planks and leg lifts so whoo hoo more motivation of that, but with them doing it, and if I get back on my place with them, I should start seeing some kind of results that I want to see. So, hopefully, my weight loss journey is going to kick back into it. Plus, my scale, my lovely, lovely scale, has went out. At first, I thought it was just the battery. I changed the battery, and it worked for two days, and then it stopped working. So, I need another scale. So, that's on my to-do list. Also, uh, what else? Wedding planning. Wedding planning is... Still there. I haven't done much of anything. I did go to Dollar Tree here in Houston and I bought some bags and I didn't get them so I'm not going to get up and get them for you. And they're like the little tuxedo bags and they were a dollar because I had saw some in Hobby Lobby and they had the bride in the tuxedos which I don't really doesn't bother me just to have tuxedos but um and they were a lot more expensive so 100 bags for $10 I think I'm doing pretty good. Other than that everything else is just money going out. So no real uh DIY things or anything of that lately so I'll show you guys that when that comes about last but not least I haven't talked about it in a while because I really had kind of just hmm, if it happens it happens it's TTC and um, we are not preventing not trying still still but this um let me get my app real quick on my phone this cycle has me a little uh Hmm, I don't know. My body's doing some weird things. So this cycle, come on, iPhone. I am on cycle day 2015. Last night, oh my God, this side right here, it hurts so freaking bad. So I was like, dang, what is going on? But then it was only for like an hour or so, and then it stopped. And then usually after I ovulate, that's how I know I ovulate my boobs hurt sorry if there's any males watching my boobs hurt so then my boobs start hurting they still hurt 
right now. So I was like, okay, I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and I'm going through some changes. Um, so it's just really a curiosity thing that I wanted to mention to you get ladies that have watched my TTC journey. If anybody has had that kind of experience, what kind of experience that they have. And at this point in time, if I was to get pregnant, this would be the last month that I would want to get pregnant because our wedding is in March. If According to the calculators and everything, I will have a baby in February and I will still be able to have be have our wedding in March. Other than that, I, you know, that will be too close to the wedding to and having a baby. And after that, I really don't want to be like eight, six, seven, eight months pregnant um, at my wedding. So I don't know. Just sharing some things with you guys. I haven't made a video in a while. I just wanted to come in and say hello. Talk to you guys. Share some things with you guys. So I will talk to you later. Bye.